Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. I will speak a, a briefer than the president did. Uh, <laughs> there's not much time, but there is a lot to say. And I, I wish I could just tell you great news, but I want to tell you the truth. And the truth that I want to talk to you about is everything the left touches, it destroys. And that if we do not know that, we cannot fight properly. You have to know what is happening. And I make a division between left and liberal. Liberals like Alan Dershowitz understand what the left is about. And that is clear. You saw the movie. The movie will be coming out later this year. And many of you watch PragerU videos. Thank you so much. We are, we are. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I am going to list to you 21 things that have been profoundly damaged by the left. Universities, high schools, and elementary schools. Two, the media. Three, sports. Four, the arts. Five, late night television. Six, the Academy Awards. Seven, the nuclear family. Eight, children. Nine, our cities. 10, the character of the individual in any country where leftism pervades. 11, race relations. 12, America itself. 13, free speech. 14, civility. 15, the Boy Scouts. 16, men and women who no longer even exist as distinct entities. 17, economics. 18, human worth and fantaside now being okay. 19, Israel, 20, human happiness, 21, religion, 22, truth. Every single one of them has been damaged by the left. I tell every Republican who runs for office, you cannot run against your opponent. Your opponent is irrelevant. Your opponent may be kind and fine and served in the armed forces and have a beautiful family. You are running against someone on the left, the left is destructive. There are nice people who in their naivete support leftism. But you must, as a candidate, run against the left, not only against your opponent. I can give you, an, if I had the time, and obviously don't, I could give you a rundown on all 22 of the things that I just listed. Let me give you an example on truth. Here's an example. Here is a puzzle I've always had. Does, do leftists believe what they say? They say that the campus is, a, is a, a rape culture. I want you to ask any of your liberal friends or relatives. Don't alienate them. I want you to keep your friends and relatives. But I would like you to ask them, do you believe that the campus is a rape culture? And I assume if they're liberal, they may say no. But if they're left, they will say yes. So then ask them, why did you send your daughter to college? And then you will hear crickets like you do now. <laughs> they, do you know that the only thing I don't know about the left, and I've been studying them since I was at the Russian Institute at Columbia University. I've been studying Marxism, communism, leftism my whole life. There is still one thing I don't know. Do they believe what they say? Do they really believe the earth is going to be essentially extinguished in 12 years? Do they believe that? Do they believe that all oceanfront and seashore properties will be inundated? So ask them this question, like the one about the rape culture and sending their daughter to college. Ask them, if they own any seashore property, are you selling your house? Why don't they all sell their houses if they believe that within 12 years all seaside properties in the world will be inundated by a, a Noah-like flood? Why aren't they selling their properties? I don't know the answer to my question, do they believe what? Do they really believe that America is racist? Do they really believe that? Then why are there so many racial hoaxes? Jesse Smollett is only the latest in an entire series of race hoaxes. Look on the internet, you will see one after another. There are probably more hoaxes than there are genuine beatings of blacks by white racists. By the way, thank God, because any beating is one too many. Did Jews make up hoaxes in the 1930s in Germany? We better make up some anti-Semitic beatings because, hey, otherwise people won't realize how anti-Semitic Germany is. 
You understand the absurdity of it? I don't know what they believe. Whatever the item, do they really believe Israel is an apartheid state? Then how are Arabs in the government? How is there an Arab Muslim member of the Israeli, uh, of the Israeli Supreme Court? How are there Arab Muslims in Israeli embassies representing Israel? Were blacks doing this in South Africa? One of our PragerU videos is of a black South African who lived under apartheid and who is a member of the South African parliament. He is so disgusted that the left says Israel is an apartheid state because he knows it cheapens the term apartheid. He knows what real apartheid was. They yell at the president for lying. The world of the left is all false and there is no libel as great as the libel. America is racist. This is the least racist, multi-ethnic, multi-racial uh, country in the history of the world. So let me end, uh, let, me, let me just say this to you. It, it's, it's so painful. I don't know what is worse, calling bad people good or good people bad. I don't know what's worse. They both infuriate me. This country is such a good country. I don't compare it to utopia. Utopia is in heaven. On earth, this is a really good country. The left doesn't know it. The president said the left hates America. I will prove it to you. I will prove it to you. Let me ask you a question. If you met a man married to a woman who said, I love my wife, but I would like to fundamentally transform her. Do you think he loves her? No, you don't. Does she think he loves her? No, she doesn't. If a wife said, I love my husband, but I would like to see him fundamentally transformed, would you believe that she loves him? No, you wouldn't. Barack Obama said five days before he was elected in 2008, we are five days away from fundamentally transforming the United States of America. That's what all of these Democrats running want to do. They want to fundamentally transform. And just like you cannot believe that college is a rape culture and send your daughter there, you cannot tell us you love a place you would like to see fundamentally transformed. That in a nutshell is the difference. We love America because it is good. They hate America because it is good. Thank you very much. Thank you.